Hello, I'm Lowell Spears. I want to welcome you to the show today. I'm going to do geraniums. Something a little different. I haven't seen it before. All right. Got the magic white on already. Let me show you a test. Take a light touch. Look at a nice clear fingerprint without the grooves being filled. That's what you're looking for. It's real important to get the right amount of white on. If you get too much, you can't, the, the things are going to smear. Not enough, you can't blend the colors. All right, we're going to start with the background. We're going to complete the total background, then we're going to paint right on top of that with our flowers and our leaves. All right, let's go right on the outside. This is the same brush I put Magic White on. I'm going to go into Soft White. And let's start with the, let's start in the middle. A little yellow ochre and white. And let's just put a row right down through the middle. I'm starting with the light colors first. And I'm going to work on to each side, make it symmetrical. And let's, put a, let's go with a little touch of uh, permanent red. And I blend it back into that yellow just a little bit. I'm going to reload again and go around this side. Now we've got into the red now. Let's, I'm going to go back into the red again, then I'm going to go over here into violet. I don't want it too violet, so I'll take it back into the red a little bit. And we'll put a layer of that on. Just up and down strokes. Pretty hard, a lot of pressure. And then let's uh, let's go into uh, phthalo green. I even might hit the violet with that just a little bit. It's kind of pastel though. It's that's why I'm putting the white in it rather than going to the straight color. That could be just a little bit stronger on that one. And let's do the same on the other side. It's going to be a real simple painting for you today. Easy to do. And, and finally, let's, let's go into... Uh, I'm using Prussian Blue today. Put the outside to Prussian Blue. You can kind of blend it back into the other color a little bit too. Let off the pressure a little bit as you blend, if you want to blend it together. Again, another variety, a uh, variety of backgrounds. Make it more interesting. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is Geraniums kind of, they grow with a lot of the leaves down at the bottom and then they have a couple of the flowers are above the, the plant and the leaves. So let's mix up a green here. Let's take our knife and mix up quite a bit of green. Yellow ochre and uh, not thalo green, Prussian blue. And uh, since we're doing geranium, we'll call this geranium green. Maybe a little more blue. Put your, put your light colors down first and then add the blue to it. You know, the blue's real strong, so you can just keep adding the blue and you can kind of come up with the green that you're looking for. And I feel real loose today. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do some of them leaves with, the, with this brush. I want quite a few green leaves there. I don't want to paint them individually, so I'm going to do it fast. Watch, I'm going to take the corner of the brush and load it this way. And then I'm going to take it up here and just chop them in like this. Now 
Now I am going to come back in and, and individualize some of these, paint them. But that does kind of look like a geranium leaf already. They may be so good I don't have to do any more to them. Put another one on top of that one. Of course, I probably didn't mix enough green up, but we'll see. Pretty big leaves, too. Yeah, maybe one right here. The tip way down here. Let me group my paint up here a bit. Matter of fact, is I'm going to mix up some more. Let's do that again. I saved a little bit there so I can match it. Or somewhere in the neighborhood. Doesn't have to be exact. Uh, maybe right here. Okay, before we go any further, let's let's take our liner brush and let's put in a, a, some stems and some grass. I'm not just going to paint the geranium leaves. I like to put in other fillers, make a complete painting out of it. All right, let's uh, think about this. I could do it over here, but this leaf's down a little lower, so it'd be better if things were coming out of here, see? Let's go right up here on the top now and put our, we're gonna have a couple of uh, flowers coming out of here. Let's put one up there, that to be a cluster of flowers there, and let's put another one right out of here. Thin your paint down enough so that it'll run on the palette. And right underneath these here, let's put a, we're gonna put a bunch of, of flowers or little buds that aren't quite open. And let's do the same over here. That's right under the flower, and right on top where the flower is, let's do this. There's quite a few uh, cluster of flowers in here. And let's go over here and let's do a few more, a little more grass. And we may put some leaves on them. Probably we will. Okay, let's take a... This is a small leaf brush, a sable brush. I'm going right back into my green again. And let's go up here and let's do our little buds up here. Let's do a few of them that they're not quite open. Just straight green. Just use the corner of the brush and push it like that. Okay, now let's double load the brush. Get the green on first. And let's go right up here in this permanent red. Now watch, I'm just going to put a little bit of red on the, on the tip of it. I'll show you that when I get it loaded. Notice, notice the red and the green there. Now this is going to create a little flower with the, with the red. Just by smashing it down, you've already created the flower, a little piece of the flower coming out of there, just by smashing it down, letting the red come through like that. How can you beat it?
And if you need, think you need to reload, just wipe it off. Go back into the grain and do it again. Load both sides of the brush, though. Let's see if it works a second time. Oh, yeah. And we're probably going to, maybe we'll do another one there. We'll see how much time we got. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and work on our flower. I'm going to take a filbert brush to start with. Let's try that to begin with on our flowers. And uh, let's take permanent red. Let's take it down here. Permanent red and a little bit. This is rose. And let's mix them together a little bit. Okay. Now you come, uh, this geranium comes in white, pink, and red. And there's quite a few flowers up here. These are, you just see in the tops of them here, they're tipped way up. Up around the top. And they're overlapping each other. I could just made a blob of red up there and picked a few of them out that way. And I thought I'll individualize them a little bit for you. Maybe let a little bit of the background show through there. And let's do the same, something similar here. So it's just permanent red and rose at this point. Probably has just a little bit more permanent red than the rose. If you do the ones on the outside first, have them tipped up a little bit, and then when you come down in the front area, have one that's a little more open, say. And that creates a dimension and perspective in that group of flowers there. Okay. We got to we got to work on our leaves a little bit. I mean, I kind of like them like that, but we'll do something to a few of them. Well, three times the charm. Let's make some more green. That's probably a little darker, but that's all right. <clears throat> this is back to our filbert brush again. And the, the reason I've selected that brush, it has a, the shape, has a rounded shape, and that's the, the uh, shape of the, uh, of the leaf. This plant is a, it's a perennial. That means it grows more than, it grows several years. And uh, normal conditions, it grew up to about 18 inches high. We're going to put some veins in these leaves also. Now 
Now on this one here, let's, let's make the shape. Uh, this is kind of how it is. It's like this. Now there's another one right over here. It goes like this, see? That's kind of the, the uh, ideal shape that they're in. I'm sure everybody's seen a geranium. It's a, it's kind of a favorite flower, a pot, good potted plant. We're going to take our liner brush and put a few veins, a few more veins in this. And we'll do that right now. I'll make it just a little bit darker, just a little more blue in it. Let's try that and see what happens. I got a little black here. I'm just going to add a little touch of black to it. <coughs> just start from the outside and, and pull them into the center like that. Don't have to do them all. Let's get a little more height with a few more of these. So we're going we're gonna to add some smaller stuff in here. And let's uh, let's go back to our our small leaf brush, and I'm going to pull a little bit of a rose color with a green. Let's try it. Let's see what happens. Yeah, a little more rose. That leaf, this little leaf has a two movement. Let's go right over here and I'll tell you about it a little bit. You gotta lean it the way it grows. Then you rotate it out, lean it down from the round, down from that round area, you just twist and pull at the same time. Twist and pull. Now we'll look for a little balance here with that color. I'm just adding just a little bit more rose to it. Okay, let's go back to our filbert brush. We're gonna let's go back and we're gonna work on our flowers a little bit more. Let's take, let's take uh, soft white and a little touch of yellow ochre. And of course we need some of our base color there, so which would be permanent red and a rose. And let's try, let's put a few highlights on some of these here. Just some on, on some of the ones that's out front here.
maybe on just a couple of them on that's on the edge here. Do some of the front ones. Leave some of the back ones dark like that. Maybe you see a little on that one. Let's go on to our main one right here. With the same idea, let's put a couple on the front like that. A little, a little highlight in the front. Leave some of the dark behind. Then in the center, let's take a little bit of white and a little touch of cad yellow. Another thing you could do, you, I could dip it in magic white, that works pretty good. And a little touch of cad yellow. And let's just put a little center in a couple of these here. Just the ones that's looking at you. Okay. Okay, we're gonna, let's, let's pull a, Pull a few things over the top here. Either that or put another little cluster. It'd be nice. We've got two groups of red. Let's put another group of red right in there. And uh, let's go back to our color down here again. This time I'm going to use a petal brush. A little more paint in it. Paint a little bit faster. And I can paint right on top of this red here. Or the green, I mean. I know, you probably said that guy didn't know red from green for a second there. But I'm having fun. I don't have to be too particular, you know, right now. I can just put that color in. I can, when I can start picking it out when I put a couple of highlights in there. And maybe this one's, you're looking at, maybe we don't see the little buds. It's behind. Maybe it's curved down like that, okay? It's coming out at you a little bit. But we'll go back to our filbert brush. This time I'm just going to take a little white down here and put with the same base color. And let's pick out a couple of these. Maybe this one's on the edge, see? I got these looking at you a little bit more. I'll go back up here, my color's a little fresher up here.
Also, if I feel like I want to add a few more, I can. And not do anything to them, but just leave it like that. Except right here, I'm going to put a light on that one. Put us a little thinner in there. We're back up here to our yellow and white there. Put us a couple blades of grass in the front here. Maybe I'll lighten it up just a hair by putting a little cad yellow in. The, in the, and I'm put a, pull a few lighter colors over top. It's a little lighter yet. Maybe a pigtail here. Well, did we have fun or what? So I hope you're happy with my geraniums. It's been a pleasure showing you. Until next time, happy painting. Goodbye.